DJ with SoundCloud. I'm DJ Spiegelspin. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use SoundCloud's streaming service in the DJ Pro app in order to be able to DJ with 120 million songs instantly. So I'm going to take you guys to the SoundCloud website and try to explain the differences between SoundCloud and other streaming services. This way you could get the full use when you're DJing with SoundCloud. So over here on, on the website, if you go to home, it's going to show you top 50 charts. It's also going to show you what you recently played. And then it has new music now. This is very important because as a DJ, you want to be more educated on music than regular people. So using SoundCloud, you'll see new up and coming artists and new songs that could possibly be big hits in the near future. And you could be known as playing them first. So always check out the new music and the up and coming artists. And in order to use SoundCloud in DJ Pro, you're gonna need a SoundCloud Go account. So with the subscription, it's $9.99 a month and they have a free one month trial. So what I recommend doing is sign up for the one month free trial, use it in DJ Pro, and if you like it, keep it. If you don't, you could cancel any time. So over here, if you go over to the library, these are songs that you liked and playlists that you like. And then I'm going to show you guys how to access this inside the DJ Pro app. Also, there is a, a stream. If you use SoundCloud a lot, there will be a whole stream of people you follow and stuff that you may like. And this is a great way to discover new songs. So to access SoundCloud in DJ Pro, you go over here, press the musical icon, and then the, this is all the list of the music services that are partnered with DJ Pro. So we're gonna go over here to SoundCloud. And now this is what you'll first see once you log in the SoundCloud with your SoundCloud Go account and you go into DJ Pro. It says at the bottom, import your streaming library. So if you have a, if you have, you could easily transfer existing Spotify playlist into SoundCloud. So if you were originally using Spotify when you were back, when you were allowed to use it with DJ Pro, then all of those playlists that you made in Spotify could be transferred to SoundCloud. You could do the same thing to tide, with Tidal and you could do the same thing with Beatport and any other streaming service. I'm not gonna go through the steps on how to do that. I did it in other videos and there's many other videos out there that explain, but you just hit the import now and it'll bring you to the website and then you could transfer your songs. So stream, this is your stream on the SoundCloud app. I don't really use SoundCloud that much, so there's nothing here. Trending. Now, these are new, hot, popular songs. And like I said before, being a DJ isn't about doing all the fancy tricks and the scratching and the perfect mixes. It's about educating people on music, knowing the new top music and up and coming artists and playing a song that nobody heard before, but they love it and then they'll hear it again on the radio and stuff once it becomes popular and they heard it from you first. So it really makes you stand out as a DJ. So by having access to all these categories of trending songs in each genre, it helps so much when you're making your DJ playlist. So if we go over here to Dance EDM, it's gonna show you that has they picked out 56 trending songs, EDM songs that are perfect for DJing. So you could just load them into a deck you could listen to them you could play a preview over here if you press the three dots you press a preview and then when you hear the song if you like it you could add it to playlist and then now we're going to add it into pop edm and that song is in our own playlist so we go over here to pop edm and then you could find the song that you just put so you could take stuff from title you could take songs from title and then add the playlist 
and put it into that place. So you got a song that's only on Tidal, and then you have songs that are only on SoundCloud in the same DJ playlist. So it, if you can't find the song on Tidal, maybe you could find it on SoundCloud. And SoundCloud has those underground artists that aren't on Tidal, that aren't on other streaming services. So having access to all of this, these songs is really helpful as a DJ. Now featured, this is the same type of thing. These are what the employees at SoundCloud have picked out in these different DJ categories for you to just load up Festival EDM. Great songs that you'd play in the DJ set and you could just load them up and DJ with them. You have, it's an hour and 13 minutes long. Over here it says the amount of songs and it says the amount of hours. Now this is important when you're doing like an auto mix or if you have a gig, you should always have enough songs for double the amount of time of the party. So if the party's two hours, you're gonna want it to say 14 at four hours or more, but not too much more because then you it's hard to decide what song to play. So a good number is double of what the time for the party is. All right, and now that was the middle, the middle button down here, the one on the left. These are your liked tracks. So any songs that you liked in the app will show up here. So if you're just using SoundCloud to listen to stuff on SoundCloud and you like a song, you'll see it right here in liked tracks. And then liked playlist. So this was a best rap now. This was a playlist that I found on SoundCloud and I liked it and I just hit liked on SoundCloud and then it's automatically here ready for me to DJ with right away. So it instead of spending the time and making your own playlist, you could use one that someone else made, that's perfectly fine. Or you could load up their playlist and then you could, you could add the whole thing. If you go over here where it says 94 songs, add all to playlist. So you could add all of those songs to an already existing playlist. So if we go to add the playlist, we could add it to our rap playlist and it'll be in there. So if you use SoundCloud a lot, this will be helpful because all of your personal data and songs that you liked and artists that you liked will be right here, ready to go right inside the app. So now over here is your library. This is the libraries that you made inside SoundCloud. So again, if you're a SoundCloud user, all of your liked tracks, your playlist, your albums, the people that you're following will be here. And if you're an, if you're an up and coming artist yourself, you'll have access to your own songs or if you're a friend of yours it is an artist, you'll have access to their songs too. This integration is really powerful and i believe it's even more powerful than the integration with spotify so so now if we go to search so if you have friends that that dj friends that make songs and they're on soundcloud you could access it in dj pro which is really really cool and i believe streaming is the future of djing so get familiar with all these streaming service and pick out the one that is best for you. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna make videos on all of the streaming services that are offered in DJ Pro and go in depth and explain the difference so it'll help you guys decide which one you wanna use for yourself. So give this video a like and ask me in the comments if you got any questions. I'm always willing to answer the questions and make sure you subscribe for weekly DJ content.